Hi, everybody. This is Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike, a weekly video series where we answer questions from people just like you. Here's this week's question. Oh, boy, it's a medicine question. Evidence-based medicine tries to reduce variations in practice, reduce inappropriate care, and reduce waste by using results of studies of large groups of people as the basis for medical guidelines. On the other hand, some people feel that it is bad medical policy to apply general rules to all cases and that medicine requires the physician use his or her knowledge of the particular patient in deciding on the course of treatment along with the patient. What do you think? What? <laughs> do you understand any of that question? Or Vaguely. What are they saying? I, are they saying, do I think it should be evidence-based or individual, individual? I think that's what it's saying, isn't it? Yeah, do we apply general swath rules like, from textbooks, or do we do it by a case by case basis? I think it goes back to dichotomy again of like it doesn't have to be an either or situation. You wow, know? that's a deep question right there. Is yeah, it? truly. What do you think? Mm. I, here's what I think. Being a patient right now of the amazing Mayo Clinic, Dr. Kruger's my surgeon, he's amazing. Laura's my hand therapist, she's amazing. And the other day, Laura couldn't uh, work on my hand. I have it worked on every week. And Laura couldn't work on my wrist, and so there was another person there. Her name's Cece. She's an amazing hand therapist at the Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale. Really good. And uh, it's interesting that, that you would send this question. Maybe they sent it. I don't know. But she said there is a large movement now to move to individual case-based medicine. Let me give you an example that my doctor and both my therapists have given me. This hand right now, this wrist, has limited range of motion. I had surgery back in January. It has limited range of motion. But the range of motion is in what they call the functional range, which means the wrist is usable, right? And they all said to me, uh, I said to them, I said, well, what is functional is not necessarily functioning because this amount of, this is called flexion, this amount of flexion still is uncomfortable. If I have to like, you know, uh, wash my face or wash my shoulder, whatever, um, it is not, it's still uncomfortable. So I, in the leadership world, I'm not a physician, so let me chat about the leadership world. In the leadership world, I always say you lead individuals. You might have a team and you might plant the flag on the hill for the team, but you always adapt your leader behavior to what the individuals need. Medicine should be the same way. Now, I know there's big swaths of research, and I know that even if we look at the vaccine right now, right, they did big group research, and they're going to apply it, and they know the, they know the uh, side effects. What I'm talking about is if I'm going to the doctor, I want the doctor to pay attention to me. I don't want four out of five dentists serv surveyed recommend sugarless gum to their patients that chew gum. I want them to look at my teeth and say, gum's not for you. I want my doctor to say, here's your specific case. So I'm a big fan of evidence-based individual treatment. I don't want to just go, well, let's give it a shot with you. But I do, I want it evidence-based, but I think individualized treatment is very important. That's why choosing a physician and a treatment team and the people that are working with you is very important that they know you, not just know your case. Hope that's helpful. If you have a question, send it to info at mikestaver.com. We're going to work it in to our show. Be courageous. Take care.